put their lives on the line to serve their country, but many of our war heroes are left with life-changing injuries. Australia's first veterans brain bank has been set up to better understand the impact of repetitive head trauma. Damien Tomlinson served in the Australian Special Forces for eight years. During a tour of Afghanistan, a large explosion took both his legs and broken arm, the huge impact shaking his brain. I think it'd probably be like getting punched by Mike Tyson if he was the size of a dinosaur. So um, I'd always wondered through my recovery what was happening inside my mind. Today, Damien became the first veteran to pledge his brain. The Australian Veterans Brain Bank is the sister organisation to the Australian Sports Brain Bank. The focus is to understand the long-term impacts of head injury. We are confident that the way you get answers and the way you develop intelligent treatments is by understanding the organic processes happening in the brain. The measure of a civilised society is how it treats its vulnerable and its veterans and unfortunately many of our veterans are both. Veterans are being encouraged to pledge their brains to research so better care can be provided in the future. Research from the Australian Sports Brain Bank found around half of the brains donated by former athletes had CTE, a neurodegenerative condition caused by repetitive brain injury, which can be linked to memory loss, depression and aggression. The focus also now on veterans, coinciding with the new National Centre for Veterans Healthcare at Concord. We of course see the value and tremendous importance of uh, contributing to research activity uh, to support veterans and their families uh, into the future.